Jennifer Lawrence has captivated her audience for years, and whether it be from Oscar-winning performances to quirky impromptu interviews to political statements that make you question your sanity and grip on reality itself. Well, Jay Law is allegedly taking time off her coveted career to, quote, fix our democracy. Not all heroes wear capes. Some wear extensions. I'm Ben Davies. This is Pure Hollywood. Maybe it was a childhood calling, walking around D.C. looking up at these incredible monuments of our forefathers. Or maybe it was the years she didn't spend in high school studying civics in our constitution. Either way, this calling for complex governmental structure reform has fully been realized. That's right, J-Law is taking a break from her taxing and burdensome career of being the top paid female actress in the world two years in a row, even going as far as comparing her role in the Hunger Games for those years to that of slavery. Please let me know where I can sign up for this oppression. <laughs> Recently in an interview with E, Jennifer Lawrence said she was taking a break from acting for about a year to work with Represent Us, an organization focused on ending government corruption and empowering youth. She claims that the organization has no political leaning whatsoever, and I really do hope that that's true. And we'll do what it's claiming to set out to do. Because Jennifer Lawrence may be in for a rude awakening who said that she would never vote Republican because of their stance against women's rights, i.e. abortion, that's it. However, if corruption is truly what they're going after and what she is going after, I say, go for it. Maybe she'll discover the open corruption in the 2016 Democratic primary. This has been shown by both WikiLeaks and former DNC head chair Donna Brazil. I guess the Democratic establishment just wasn't feeling the burn. Maybe she'll get into the IRS Obama scandal, where literally Obama was using one of the most powerful organizations in the entire land to target political opponents. Literally, our government being wielded as a weapon to secure political prominence. Or that currently all the evidence for Russian collusion seems to be closing in on the Hillary campaign and not the Trump campaign. Honestly, I think that Jay Weezy is a fantastic actress, and I really hope she enjoys all of her time off and finds fulfillment, and that the mission statement of Represent Us is actually found. Because there is truly a treasure trove of corruption in the government on both sides which is why we don't need it to be any more powerful or need more of it. However, if you think currently the corruption is equal on both sides, let me ask you this. Why would a candidate, without the aid of the RNC, who went against every single Republican establishment person, who used his own campaign finances, who had no backers going into it, become the leader of the Republican Party? How would that have been possible? All the while the DNC had a known coup to swing Hillary the entire primary. Um, yeah, sometimes reality speaks a lot louder than CNN headlines. I'm Ben Davies, this is Pure Hollywood. And another fantastic news, you can now download the Rebel app and take me with you wherever you go to get exclusive content in the entire Rebel lineup.